Yes, um, taping was good. So we've had one taping day where we filmed a couple of things. Pero anong tawag dito? I guess to better explain. So the best ka is an infotainment show where we're featuring clips of uh, world uh, Guinness World Record holders. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas, pero all over the world. Pero syempre, ang gusto natin dito gawin ay i-hype up yung audience, ang mga kapuso nating manonood. So meron tayo, dito pumapasok ang hosts. That's me and my co-host. I think for the first episode, nakita nyo na, my co-host is uh, my lovely wife. So anong tawag dito? So kami yung kumbaga hype man. Kami yung tulay para mas ma-enjoy pa ng kapuso audience ang world record features at videos na ipapakita namin. And we do that by hosting, maybe my konting acting, my games, we don't know. Uh, ang pinaka-okay dito is the creative team is super duper good at ang dami nilang naiisip uh, na mga kung ano na mga gags and sketches and gimmicks para mas matuwa ang audience. Thank you. And we've always known you as a confident and articulate host. Ano? Pero can you give us a background? Nag-train ka ba as a host, as a kid? Active ka ba in school? Yan, ano. uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Not when I was a kid. So um, a, a lot, um, karamihan ng skills, acting, uh, singing, dancing, hosting. Uh, I learned when I got into GMA already, but specifically for hosting, I do have a story to tell. See, the late and great direct Freddy Santos was the one who trained me. He was the first person who gave me a hosting workshop, and he basically taught me how to value hosting. And he, uh, I, I guess, para ma share na rin, diba? um, I guess the one point that stuck to me is as a host, you're a bridge to the main content and the audience. It's not about you. Diba? Itutulay mo yung audience para mas ma-enjoy nila yung content at yung main program. So that's what I learned from Direct Freddy and I will never ever forget that. And up to this day, I use that as my guiding, as my North Star when I'm hosting. Thank you. Congratulations and good luck. Thanks, Tim. Uh, thank you, Kate. Thank you, Kate. Ang susunod naman tawagin natin from Showbiz Ganap, James Miguel. Hi, James. Hello. Hi. Hello. Um, yung question ko, kasi nabanggit na din naman na co-host mo si uh, Megan. Um, every parang episode ba, iba-iba yung co-host mo dito? Possibly. Possibly. So, of course, I would love to always be working with my wife, but that choice is not up to me. So, sa ngayon, I think we can expect na we may have different co-hosts. But, let's see. Let's see. Alam mo naman natin dito sa mundo ng showbiz, pabago-bago every day. So, we shall see. Thank you. Um, follow up lang. Um, can you also share kung ano yung masasabi mo na the best ka moments ng buhay mo ngayon? Like yung wow. parang nangyari na. Oh, that's easy. Uh, ang, the best ko, ang the best ko moment uh, is every morning when I have coffee with my wife. I've said this before. Every morning, the chance to have coffee with her, yummy coffee at that is something I'm always thankful for. Thank you so much. And lang and congrats. Looking forward to show. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, James. Next, let's call Rocky Batara from TV series Grace. Hey, Rocky. Kamusta? Long Hello, Mikael. Kamusta? Yan. So, first of all, congratulations sa new show mo na The Best. Thank you. So, yung first question ko, uh, paano nyo pinipili yung mga stories or records na pinipicture nyo sa show nyo And meron ka bang personal ano dito? May personal choice ka pa or personal say para doon? Uh, well, so far, wala pa akong personal choice. Pero in terms of uh, kung paano pinipili kung anong records ang ipapakita, sa totoo lang, uh, nakausap ko yung creative team and that's the easy part. Kasi ang dami-daming records dyan. So, sabi niya, sabi nga nila, hindi tayo mauubos ng records na may papakita. And I think yun yung pinaka... Uh, I think yung defining point ng the best ka kasi hindi yung mga usual na records ang ipapakita namin. Ito yung mga records na kakaiba talaga. I don't want to give anything mm. away. Pero what the audience will see, yung mga kapuso natin, maaalyo sila for sure. Yung next question ko naman, kilala yung GMA na sa mga knowledge shows kagaya nito. kagaya nung Amazing Earth ni Ding Dong, tapos yung Cups Amazing Story ni Bong Rebilia. So, sa iyo naman, ano sa tingin mo yung uh, difference nito? 
dun sa mga um, shows na nabanggit. Well, I guess yung difference dito is sa sa ngayon, in this time, we are in the social media era. So, ang dami nagsisilabas sa nakakaibang mga records ngayon at mas madali yung access to content. So, mm-hmm. I think that's in terms of yung records na ipapakita, mas fresh ang may hahatid ngayon ng the best ka. And then at the same time, as I go back, I will always repeat, the creative team here is absolutely amazing and uh, the scripts and the material that they give me to work with Uh, talaga ine-enjoy namin. So, I guess yung pag-stitch together ng records and of course, yung segments ko as a host with my co-hosts, I think that will also bring a very different flavor para sa mga kapuso natin. Yung next question ko naman, uh, para sa'yo naman, ano sa mga pinipicture mo dito yung pinaka-favorite mo? Wow, well, well we've only done a couple of features. Namin. Yeah, we've only done a couple of features so far. And sa totoo lang, when I was taping, I didn't have a chance yet to look at all of the videos. Mm-hmm. Kasi may ibang videos, process pa nila. So let mm-hmm. me watch my first, the first uh, few episodes and then pwede tayo mag mm-hmm. ulit. And for my last question pa naman, uh, kung ikaw ang bibigyan ng chance na mag-feature ng mga topic, ano ito and why? Both Philippines and worldwide. Wow. That's a really really interesting uh interesting question. Um siguro para sa akin I I'm pretty sure may mga long lost world records tayo sa uh I guess far flung provinces ng Pilipinas. And alam ko ah, syempre ako naman mahilig ako bumiyahe so parang para sa akin nakakatuwa kung ma-discover mm-hmm. natin yung mga hidden records na nagtatago diyan sa mga isla ng Pilipinas. That's sana yun yung ma-feature natin. Yan. So, thank you, Mikael, and congratulations sa bagong show. Thank you, Rocky. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Rocky. Ngayon naman tawagin natin si Trixie Daos from Pinoy Screen and Stage. Hello. Hi, Trixie. Hi, nice Mikael. Hi. Congrats on your new show. Um, and Ang aking um, first question, narinig naman, no? Oh, ang aking... First question ay, um, para sa'yo as a host, ano yung mas mahalaga? The ability to crack jokes or bale sense of humor or uh, yung intonation ng salita? Uh, I guess, uh, mahirap pumili dun sa mga nabanggit mo. I think the more, more important thing is being able to enjoy. Uh, minsan as a host, minsan may character ka, minsan you come in as yourself. Uh, pero I think yung pinaka-importante dyan, if you're able to enjoy it, I think nararamdaman din ng audience. And kahit anong gawin mo, kahit minsan, minsan, siyempre, baka mahi- nahihiya ka ng konti, pero if you're enjoying the moment, para sa akin, over the past 10 years of hosting, that is uh, quality na laging nararamdaman ng audience. In another life, if you were reincarnated as someone um, that is training to break a Guinness World Record, ano kaya yung ibibreak mong record? Wow! That's a good question. Ngayon ko lang narinig yung question na yan. Uh, off the top of my head, well, nasagot ko, may sinagot ako kanina sa isang uh, interview and I was saying na I always wanted to be an NBA player. So, I would like to be reincarnated as Michael Jordan. And I would not retire and I would win the most NBA championships ever. <laughs> Um, of course, I assume that uh, like because of this show, you've watched a lot of videos, a lot of materials in relation to the world record. So, can you give me three um, from the top of your head na parang sobrang na-amaze ka talaga na, uy, may ganyan palang world record? Uh, I actually have not been able to watch uh, a lot. But I did watch uh, some of the videos and features that they gave me. Pero ay, di ko muna sabihin kasi baka ma-spoil ko. So, off yeah. the top of my head, based na dun na lang sa mga nakita ko. Uh, off the top of my head, I've always been amazed at yung mga records na, of course, yung normal ones, tallest man in the world, and then biggest cake na nagawa, biggest pie na nagawa, biggest pumpkin found. So, yung mga usual na ganun yung manakita ko. At kahit dun palang naalyo na ako. Pero ang uh, may papangako ko sa mga kapuso viewers natin, ang ipapakita namin world records, medyo out of this world. Kakaiba talaga. 
And um, last question. Ano yung uh, pinaka masasabi mo na natutunan mo um, when taking on this pro- project? Um, I guess for this one, I na mas na reinforce lang na any every project that you do is always a team effort. And kitang kita mo yun. Um, sure, ako yung malabas dun sa TV pero dun sa likod ng material na yun is a crew of almost a hundred people. Uh, from your director to the office, uh, the people in admin, people working in the office, the crew, the staff, the writers, lahat yan sila ang dahilan kung bakit may show na ganito. Regardless of uh, what happens, uh, we've taped our first few episodes already and we're proud of it. At kung ano yung makita ng mga tao, that's all our work, team effort. Thank you. And again, congratulations. Right. Thank you so much, Fixie. Thank you, Trixie. Ngayon naman tawagin natin si Florencio Husay from Manual to Life. Uh, hi, Florencio. Uh, hi. My question is, uh, was there an opportunity for you to participate sa isang world record? Like, yun kasi kung may mga mass participation ka nun, naranasan mo ba yun? No, uh, pero you know what, you're right. There are parang may mga ganun, parang the biggest amount of people in one small place parang ganun you know? <laughs> oh, i've never i've never had the chance to uh, to participate yet. Mm. pero in, uh, in relation pa sa nauna tanong pero in your current ano capacity sa tingin mo ano yung world record na kaya mo iset sa sa kakayahan mo ngayon wow that's really interesting actually binigyan mo ako ng idea kailangan ko i-pitch yan kasi kung tumagal tong the best ka maybe one of the episodes let's try to beat the world record. Di ba? Mm, uh, Parang crowdsource natin to. Gamitin natin yung mga Pilipino. Um, so, anong tawag dito? In terms of my capacity to beat a world record, oh my God. Ang daming magagaling na tao dyan. I'll have to get back to you. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see. But you gave me nice ideas. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, and my next question is, uh, you, since you mentioned that, yeah, we have also Filipino world record holders. Uh, was will there be an opportunity na sila rin mismo gigest sa show para yung interviewin mo on how they achieve that record etc ganun I hope so I think that's uh, definitely something ang um, maganda dito sa show na to is uh, no holds barred siya dami pwedeng gawin Syempre ngayon we're shooting in a studio we're shooting in a mm-hmm. uh, set location because of Syempre uh, we still have uh, health and safety protocols to follow pero habang lumuluwag ang mga protocols natin over time then Yes, hey, uh, you can come. You can come into the creative team na. Ang dami na mo nang naambag ng mga ideas. <laughs> uh, these are all good ideas, to be honest. And I'd love to do it. Okay, yun lang. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Florencio. Um, susunod naman, tawagin natin si Josephine Bonsol from joebonsol.net. Hello, congratulations, Mikael. Hello, Josephine. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see. Since I'm very old, refresh my memory, no? The first question is, I think I used to see you before doing features of eating a lot of food, the different varieties of food where you travel. Tama ba? Yes, that is correct. I did Midnight Express, which was a yes. segment that aired in Saksi for half a decade. Yes. And for a long time, I'm always wondering, bakit hindi ka tumataba. Tapos, kasi ginagamit ko yung videos mo when sometimes I'm teaching feature writing to my students. Kaya lumalabas yung mukha mo. Kaya sabi ko, oh my God, ang sarap talaga ng pagkain niya. The description, the adjectives, the way this the, you introduce the food, that was wonderful. It was really enticing. Pero dun sa experience mo na yun, did that also help in preparing you to get to Um, your own tra- ano, variety show, uh, your own uh, program right now na talaga exclusive ka itong The Best Ka. Did that help you? Ma'am Josephine, can I just say, I love you. You are amazing. Love- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for you to tell me that, uh, sorry, I'm gonna go off uh, off topic here a little bit. For you to tell me that about Midnight, uh, Midnight Express mm-hmm. uh, fills my heart overflowing with love. Oh my gosh, because Midnight Express was my baby. Um, just to give you a bit of background because you're using the videos, uh, that is my family. Midnight, that crew, that, that, that's a crew of maybe around six to eight people. We did something together for eight, uh, six to eight years together, straight, no miss. Um, it came to the point that there was almost, there was no script. 
they would just said, Mick, come here, eat, and I'll just say, roll the camera and just go. Oh my God, there and is no script? There was just no zero script there at that point. So <laughs> we would, uh, the only script we had was for the VO, just to uh, state all the facts. But for you to say that, makes me super duper happy and I guess I'll get to your actual question already um, most definitely for me to be able to have a quote unquote playground to hone my craft which is hosting with people who I consider family and friends already up to this day I think I was messaging the group like two days uh, or maybe a week ago but it was a huge opportunity for me and of course, it was just a segment, but for those who watched it, uh, I'm really glad you guys enjoyed that segment. Thank you. Kasi sabi ng mga sudyante, kung bang bakit ang sexy pa rin niya, ang dami niya pinakain. <laughs> As to that secret, um, malakas lang rin ako mag-gym. <laughs> Bawi-bawi lang. Kung malakas ka kumain, kailangan malakas ka rin mag-gym. And, and now it goes to my next question, siguro is, from when you were young, you you know all of us have those things that we're proud about and how do you define how you were best at when you were young and to how do you think you are best at now and what you do do you think you're best at more on hosting rather than acting did it change the way you see yourself when you were young um everything that i do now for work are things i never ever did when i was younger at all. So, um, anong tao dito? I think a lesson that can be that I share with my siblings, because number two, ako out of eight, I have a lot of younger cousins. I have like 30 younger cousins. May, may kwento po ako laging binabahagi sa kanila. I always tell them, if there's one thing you can be confident about, be confident in your ability to learn. Never, never say na hindi mo kaya kung hindi mo pa sinusubukan. Because I came into GMA not having skills to succeed. I didn't know how to act. I had never acted. I didn't know how to host. I had never hosted dancing and singing. I hated dancing and singing. But now I do all of that for a living. So, and I told them that the only reason I was able to do that is because I was willing to learn. And part of learning is going through that humility, uh, going through, of course, it's a bit embarrassing, but owning up to that. So for me, uh, in terms of the question, I wasn't the best at anything that I'm doing now when I was younger. But I could say that uh, I was pretty good at learning. Wow, those are beautiful words. And thank you very much for the beautiful circumstances and that this opportunity to, to hear from you those inspiring words. And I'll keep it in my heart to share it to uh, other people and also my students. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much, Mika Joseph, and, and Thank you for the forward, conversation. I'm really looking forward to more of your shows. Yay! These are the things we need right now, you know, because the students really need this. Thank you, Mom Teen and GMA. And thank you, Mikael. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Miss Josephine. Up next, let's call Oreo Pantejas from Big Bees Buzz. Hello, magandang hapon. Hi, Oreo. Magandang hapon. Hello. Ayun, first of all, congratulations. Uh, Bali, Mikael, this is your first uh, show na ikaw yung host na solo, right? Yes, true. Hmm. Uh, how does it feel na you have your own uh, uh, TV show na ikaw yung host as a solo mo? Uh, well, as, uh, sa totoo lang, uh, I didn't even realize. Nag- uh, na- natuwa kami, na-surprise kami lahat, kahit si Bones, yung asawa ko. Uh, we, we had, I think uh, we were already planning to shoot and then may nagsabi, alam mo, make teka lang, parang ito yata yung first show na main host ka, no? na full show siya. And I was like, oh, nga, no? I mean, I've been hosting for 10 years, so hindi ko siya naisip. But when you put it that way, then it just makes me ultimately more thankful and appreciative sa opportunity. And I really hope mag-enjoy yung mga kapuso pag pinanood na nila yung show. Do you feel pressured na, kasi yun nga, sabi kanina, uh, GMA is known for this type of uh, TV shows, yung mga infotainment, yan yan. And maraming, maraming gantong show sa GMA na sobrang nagtagal, as in years, mga decades na yung tinagal, ganun. Mm-hmm. So do you feel pressure ngayon? Uh, I think anything you do naman, uh, anything anything new that you do, there always will be pressure. But 
uh, what I always tell myself and I tell also my loved ones is that in the face of pressure, just make sure you give 110%, 200%, 1,000%. Just because that's your control. Diba? Kung how, how the outcomes of your work, sa totoo lang, di mo masyadong kontrolado yun. It's out of your hands how the audience will react. Pero at least you can be happy and satisfied if you gave a thousand percent each and every time. So yes, there is pressure, but I try to focus on preparing the best way that I can. Ayun. As a host naman, uh, how do you get inputs ganyan or saan ka pumukuha ng inspirations ganyan? in your way of hosting uh, everywhere sa totoo lang um, I, I guess to start off um, yung mga kapwa host ko sa GMA uh, Drew Arellano of course uh, Dingdong Dantes Chris Tiu all of these people I've uh, seen I've met I've worked with to a certain extent uh, the hosts I've worked with um, uh, live on events so I learned from all of them and I'd like to think that me as a host is a product of working with all the hosts that I've ever worked with. So yun lang, just keep on learning and keep on observing. You can always find um, inspiration from sa totoo lang, almost anything. Okay, last question. I'm measuring you wala ka sa show. No, uh, go lang. Uh, you celebrated your second anniversary. Wedding anniversary. Yes, we did. Uh, what's the best Uh, part or best thing about being married? <laughs> Alam mo, may nagtanong rin sa akin ito. Magugulit ka siguro sa, sa sagot ko. Um, I don't know if there's the best part to being married. Kasi para sa akin at kay Megan, nothing changed. Um, I love her just as much before I got married and it didn't change after we got married. I've, it's always been the same. So para sa akin... Um, Uh, ang pagbabago siguro nandun pa nga dun sa family ko kasi <laughs> naninibago sila na may asawa na ako but for me and Megan we go through life the same way still make coffee for one another in the morning enjoying our video games hosting and acting from time to time so life goes on and you just enjoy thank you so much and congratulations Mikael thank you thank you so much Oreo Thank you, Ario. And last but not the least, si Albert Abelida from Chica Des App. Hi, Albert. Albert, andiyan ka ba? Yeah, teka lang. Yung camera ko. Teka. Sige lang, go lang. Take your <laughs> Sorry. time, Albert. No worries. I'm so excited pa naman magtanong. Anyways. <laughs> It's okay. Ayan. Hey, mabuhay. Congratulations. Mabuhay. Wow. Ayan. This is an ano, exciting yung show mo. Parang naalala ko before, like, GMA has, like, somehow a similar kind of show, yung Believe It or Not. Tapos parang nagbibigay din sila ng mga Guinness Book World of Records. Ganyan. So, um, yung first question ko is, um, so far in, um, with your journey in showbiz so far, What do you think would you consider yung the best na nangyari out of being in showbiz? Wow, that's an amazing question. Um, well, para sa akin, I don't know if I can single one out, uh, one moment out. Kasi para sa akin, give me any show, any show, I'll give you one really, really good memory about it. Kasi para sa akin, each show has been extremely important dun sa growth ko as to who I am right now, as an actor, as a host. I mean, uh, everything that I am right now is uh, is because of what I've done before. So, para sa akin, I just appreciate every moment there. Ayan. And ano din, kasi like, parang yung, yung term na the best ka is normally being provided when you really show appreciation. Ganyan, di ba? Parang, but there are people kasi na hindi rin sila ganon ka vocal when they show appreciation. But they really do. Ganyan. Ikaw ba, what, what type of person are you? Ikaw, ito, ikaw ba tong tipong you really verbalize um, yung appreciation and why do you think um, mas better yung ganong pag ano ganung pag, oh, pag that's, a, that's an interesting question uh, i have two answers to that uh, in one side i would actually say hindi ako he hindi ako masyadong verbal when i'm showing my appreciation 
And in the same in the same token, di ko rin kailangan yun if ever may nagawa ako na that yeah. is appreciated. I also don't need that rin kasi. Para sa akin, yung mas importante dyan is uh, you're happy that you gave your best. So parang going back to the answer I had a while ago, when you're able to give a, a thousand percent effort and people say, uy, the best yan, then you're thankful. Pero even if people don't say anything at all, pag alam mong you gave 1,000 percent, kailangan happy ka na dun. Kailangan internally satisfied ka na. So I guess that's one point. Pero I guess to another point naman, um, when there is something na parang namangha ako or naaliw ako, then I guess that's when parang yung initial reaction, dun ko linalabas na, oh my God, that's amazing. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Let's say I go to a place, bumiyahe ako, and I see a, a tourist spot, and I'm like, oh my God, God, this is the best place I've ever seen. So two sides, depende siguro kung ano yung stimulus for me to react. Yeah. yeah, I get you. Ganyan. Di kasi, di ba, sometimes talaga pag parang fi- some people um, parang iniisip nila you're not appreciated just because hindi nasabihan. Di ba? Parang gano'n. Oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, it's also it's, all, it's always good for people to know na di ba, be happy with what you can control. Parang hindi naman natin control kung ano yung sasabihin ng tao. Yeah. Siyempre, baka isisip nila ang galing-galing mo pero hindi nila sinasabi. So what you can control is how much effort you put into anything you do. And when you put 1000% at yun yung goal mo sana, eh dapat masaya ka na kasi nagawa mo yun. Okay, okay. Thank you. And Mikael as an in, as a host of an infotainment program, um how do you think this show um can put value in this age of fake news, misinformation, history revisionism, paano ito makakapagbigay? Kasi itong, itong sasabihin mo sa amin, those are part of history. Di ba? Yes. Majority yes. could be. And maybe some are things that we will set a record pala. Yes. Wow. That's a, actually, that's a very deep question. That's a deep-rooted question. Pero sige, uh, without getting too deep, let's, I'll, I'll try to answer it on the surface. Yes, we are an infotainment show. So we are providing information. So yung information natin, syempre, the best kind of information is one that is backed up. Parang reputable and credible siya. So I am proud to say that we are working with Guinness. So the Guinness World Records. So I think Guinness uh, is already known for being able to measure, collect, and credibly report world records. Para nakita natin kahit sa mga YouTube at makita natin sa The Best Ka na uh, parang may team sila na nag-verify na yun nga yung world record. So at least on that point, on a personal level, syempre, I'm not an auditor. I cannot credibly yeah. say, ah, world record yan. But we are working with Guinness and they are a reputable entity. So with that, confident ako dun sa mga report namin na features. Okay. Ah, so war- parang wala siyang mga segment na tipong parang this is the lesson you'll derive from this kind of of information. Yung parang ganon. Parang well, so far in- sa mga so far, it's more of us featuring inihahatid lang namin na, oi, mm. may ganitong world record. Kakaiba, ito yung ginagawa niya. Ito okay. yung uh, I guess may short snippet rin ito yung pinagdaanan niya para maabot niya yung world record na ito. But, but, as I was telling um, some of the other bloggers here, I was saying, sa totoo lang, ang daming pwedeng gawin dito sa show na to. So, what you just said, uh, baka in future episodes, I can imagine pwede namin gawin yun. Para, so, para. okay yan, okay yan. This show is extremely flexible. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. And last question ko na lang, ganyan, um, ano yung pwede mong ma-advise doon sa mga taong um, are still in the middle of their journey in finding their best self? And how can they, anong tawag ito? Paano, hindi ko sure kung narating mo na yung part na yun, ganyan, but learning from your own journey, paano feeling mo? Uh, well, I mean, I, I have two answers. Uh, short answer, kapit lang, mga best. <laughs> long answer uh, long answer is I mean lahat naman tayo we're always on a journey I think um, 
I don't think, uh, at least on a personal note, I don't think anybody can say, ah, ito na yung best version ko, tapos after nito, wala na. So, I think we're always on a journey, pero I think yung importante dun is, uh, maging masaya rin tayo. Yung may ibang tao kasi, parang masyadong pinipressure yung sarili na, okay, I need to be the best ah. version, I need to be the best version. Nakakalimutan nila na maging masaya dito sa moment na ito. Okay, yes, sige, papunta ka dun sa best version mo, pero enjoy mo rin yung mismo moment na ito na papunta ka dun. Kasi yung pag, pag nandun ka na, isang moment lang yun eh. Mas matagal yung moment na papunta ka dun. So, kailangan i-enjoy mo din yan. I think, uh, everyone, kahit ako, I've always needed that reminder. So, I think people need to be reminded of that from time to time. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Si Tita Kate, na-enjoy niya yung journey niya so far. May oh, mga nag-message sa kanya. And thank you so much, Albert. Thank you for the <laughs> thank question. Thank you, Mikael. Congrats. Thank you, Tin. <laughs> Thank you, Albert. Ano ko nakakatuwa kasi ang gaganda ng mga tanong ng vlogger sa atin. Very interesting. Yes, and fairness. Uh, and ngayon, siguro, uh, bibigyan natin ng chance si Mikael to invite yung ating mga vloggers and influencers to support your show yung The Best Ka. Go, Mik! Yes, yeah, sa mga kapwa vloggers, vloggers, and influencers dyan. Kamusta na kayo lahat? And thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching this. I'd like to invite all of you to watch the new show coming out on GMA Network. It's called The Best Ka. I am hosting it. And for the first episode, I will be co-hosting it with my lovely wife, a.k.a. Bones, a.k.a. Megan Young. This is airing at 3.50 p.m. on February 20. That is a Sunday on GMA Network, of course. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I hope you enjoy what we have prepared for you guys. And baka meron ka pang ibang gusto i-promote, Mick, kung may iba kang projects or even your vlogs na pwedeng sundan ng ating vloggers. Yes, of course. Uh, you know the drill. Social media uh, is all over the place. We have Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. You can catch all my content there. I'm at Mikael Daez. My wife and I stream video games from time to time on our Facebook page. We have a podcast called Hashtag Behind Relationship Goals. And... Uh, yeah, I think I named all those social media sites so far. If there's a new one, I'll let you know. Yay, thank you. And again, congrats, Mikael. Sobrang very, ako very proud ako kay Mik. Um, dahil nakatrabaho ko na siya. For me, one of the best actors and one of the best hosts ng GMA. You really deserve this project. Congrats, Thank you Mick. so much, Then I really, really, really appreciate those words. 